uh, recognize who the head of our life is, Father God. And we take this uh, time to say thank you, Lord, for this opportunity that we come together, Father God, to talk to you, to to uh, pray to you, Father God, to be in communication with you, Father God. And although we're not together today, we do have this. Uh, we do have the methods and the and the means, Father God, to virtually get together and come to pray corporately today uh, with you. So we're just so thankful for this opportunity, and uh, we just thank you for that. We thank you very much. We hope everybody's had a great day today, and and they've come to really focus on you during this hour that we have here together this evening, Father God, praying. So we thank you for this time, and uh, we give all honor to you. And it's our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. So again, good, good, day, good evening, everybody. Everybody had, had a great day today. I'd like to welcome you to our prayer rally for the month of March. Uh, and this evening, we will be, uh, again, here for an hour, and we're going to be using the acronym PRAY. We're going to focus in four different areas where we'll be focusing our prayer on. And that's PRAY. Uh, uh, P for praise, basically, where we will be praising God for who, just for who he is. Uh, the R is for repent, repentance, uh, asking for forgiveness where we have fallen down and not been uh, in line with God's word. A is for ask, where we basically will be asking for those things that we think we're in need of or interceding for other people uh, with prayer. As, and Y for yield, and that's really yielding to what God would have us do in our lives, making sure that we are trying to be obedient to him and what he has for us. We have four different uh, brothers and sisters who will be leading each section. Uh, we'll move from one section to the other, but uh, and we have given equal time across the board for each one of these areas of focus. So after they finish up with their prayer, if there's something that you would like to pray for in that area, please just unmute yourself or either hit your space bar button and you'll be able to uh, do a short prayer yourself. And we'll move through the this evening under those uh, under that under those directions. Okay, so our first area tonight will be will be praise, and we're going to be led in this area by our brother Roger Harrison. Amen. And I'm sorry, I was thinking it was next next month. Okay. Hold on, let me give a scripture. It's on the screen if you need it there, Rod. Brian, I don't know if you're talking, you're on mute. Yeah, he is on mute. I guess he can't see. Rod, can you see us, Rod? Oh, there we go. No, I can't. There I you. can't. No, I can't see. I'm on my phone. Um, well, you know your, your, your scripture. You want me to read it for you? Yeah, go ahead, because I can't. Oh, I found when. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yeah, you got some feedback going on. Is there a couple of mics there? Okay. Lord, you are my God. I will exalt you and praise your name. Thank you for all that you've done in our life, Lord God. We thank you for, we thank you for all that you've done. And you need to go and praise your name, Lord God. You are perfect. 
and you say more God, we thank you for the things that you have done and continue to do in our life. So Lord God, we just don't want to see that. Father, I just want to give you praise today, Lord God, and we thank you, Lord, for trying to help you. Lord, to watch over them and keep them, Lord. So, Father God, we thank you today, and Lord, we lift up your name, we praise you, and we continue to praise you, Lord, for all you do, Lord, you kept us through. We praise you because you kept us through this pandemic, you have kept us through life and health and strength, Lord, and bless our families. We praise you, Lord God, for how you continue to watch over us, Lord, and we just thank you. I think Roderick has, uh, we, it was, we can hear you totally there, but I think Rod finished that prayer. So anyone else who wants to pray in this area, praising God for just who he is, uh, you can, the, the, the uh, it's open right now. Just push down your mic, uh, your space bar, or even just unmute yourself. Father God, we come to you this evening, humbly as we know how. We come, Father God, for you alone, our God. You alone are alone are worthy of all the praise, honor, and glory. Father God, we thank you this evening. We thank you for allowing us to assemble ourselves one more time. Even though it's virtually, we still can come together on one accord, giving you praise. You are worthy to be lifted up, Father God, for you have provided a way for salvation, the perfect way, the only way through your son, Jesus. And we thank you, Father God, because for, before any of us were created, anyone, before any of us were thought about, you already had predestined that you would call us to yourself. And I just thank you, Father God. I thank you for being an heir to the throne. I thank you, Father God, for all that you are and all that you've done. And we continue to praise you and lift you up because without you, we are nothing. But with you, all things are possible. So we thank you, we praise you, and we honor you. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. 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 Father, we do thank you for the uh, your, as the word says, your perfect faithfulness uh, that you have done. You've done wonderful things, God. You are perfectly faithful, uh, and we praise you for that even when we have been faithless. Uh, so, God, just just thank you for who you are and your nature and your character um, that, that you had a plan from the very beginning, God. And so you are uh, so worthy of all of our praise and all of our honor and all of our glory that we can give to you. So God, we just just give you, lift up your name, and and even on a personal level, it says that that you are my God, and I will exalt you, God. So yes. I just and praise you for who you are in my life, uh, in my family's life, um, and even in the life of our church. But God, so thank you for being not only a, a big God, but also a personal one uh, who cares uh, for each and every one of us individually. So God, just praise you, exalt your name. And, uh, and for all the wonderful things you have done and for your wonderful attributes. I pray this in the name of your son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, we do praise you. We give you all praise and all honor, Father God just for who you are, Lord, because you are God. You are the author of our lives. We realize that. We know, Father God, without you, we are nothing. We are nothing. So we give you the highest praise, Father God, 
We lift you up. We just honor you, Lord, because you're so deserving, Father God. Scripture says, yes, you knew for our, the existence of this world before we were born for anything, Father God. We were predestined, Father God, to be a part of your family. And for that, we're so thankful. So we just thank you today. We thank you for the, the guidance and directions that you have given us each and every day, Father God. We love you today, Lord. We just worship you today, Father God. Our heart loves you today, Lord. Our mind loves you today, Lord. Every aspect of our being, Father God, loves you today, Lord. When we lift you up, Father God, because you're so deserving. You are truly deserving, Father God. So I humbly say thank you, Father, for who you are. Continue to be in our lives. Continue to direct us in our lives. And we will give you all the honor and all the glory. Thank you, Father. We love you today. And this is our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, God. Okay. We're going to now move to our next section where we're going to focus in on repentance, where we uh, have been disobedient. And Brother Rufus will be leading us in this particular focus. So, amen. He'll be coming from Acts. Uh, yes, I'll be coming from, let me see, make sure that I am not muted. Okay. Uh, Acts 3, 19, 20. Repent, therefore, and turn back, that your sins may be blotted out, that times of refreshing may come from the presence of the Lord, and that he may send the Christ appointed for you, Jesus. Um, when uh, Elder Bullock allowed me to uh, come before you guys tonight, um, boy, and I thought about the topic of repent. Uh, I thought it was about so many different things, and then you kind of put that word out there talk about disobedience. Um, uh, boy, that was so strong, but it just made me reflect back on the, the last four and a half years, I guess I can say that. And um, just prior to me actually going to prayer, I just need to share a few things with you guys. I get 15 minutes right. Um, <laughs> uh, not, maybe not so much as 15 minutes, but I'll, I'll share this with everybody. Because uh, I guess it's almost like my little testimony in a sense. And but still I appreciate allowing me to actually come before everybody tonight. Um this gave me uh an opportunity to look at myself, um, the topic repent and uh see those things I have and uh, must repent from doing. Uh, repenting is a constant. Uh and even Pastor Harris was uh, talking about it on Sunday as far as the um the, the change of mindset. Uh it's uh the full change in the direction of uh, someone's uh, life behavior. In particular, I kept thinking about was me. And um, I needed some work. I needed some work basically over the last four years, working my, my mind, my body, and the spirit toward God. Um, and, and still giving God unconditional praise and obedience uh, to all he has done for us and, uh, and everyone else. But uh, my most recent sin that I, I had um, basically documented was that um, the required my opinion was anger and hate during the uh, presidential period of Donald Trump. That was really uh, some deep moments. I had some deep moments there. Uh, I took his becoming president of the United States as an act of Satan. I, I took his becoming president as a repeat of slavery, trying to put us African-Americans in a place where we were known as Negroes and not as American citizens. Uh, I took his becoming president as following the path of Hitler and what Hitler had done to the Jewish people. And lastly, uh, I took his becoming president as a corrupt individual having no compassion for others as he continued to spew a host of lies. Um, it, it, like I said, it was still some deep moments. I can't even begin to tell you the conversation Peg and I was having around the house. But, um, but I could continue to go on and on well, uh, with my thoughts, and boy, his baby calling me now, but I who will get back to take in a minute. Um, but my thoughts of being consumed with Trumpism and not keeping my faith in God was, I'm not going to say it was diminishing, but it was distraction. Uh, there were so many times I was asking myself why. Uh, being a product of the 60s, I was more determined to fight and pray for equal rights. Uh, I was more than ready to defend my freedom. 
uh, I can begin to tell you uh, the names I was calling Donald Trump uh, and those bad things I was wishing for him. And I, I just find my, finding myself becoming a, a bad person. Um, so it was in, anyway, finally I, I, I caught up with myself or rather God caught up with me and I had to repent. Uh, and I had to keep telling myself, lean not on to uh, my own understanding um, because <laughs> I'm just a person that's on this earth uh, and living under God's umbrella. And I'm, I'm so thankful for that. Uh, but as hard it was for me to deal with these thoughts, uh, I had to get right with God instead of the ways of man. Uh, I found myself uh, more and more in a fighting position, ready to defend my freedom uh, during that time still. Uh, but, but more conversation with others, I was possibly influencing hate in their hearts, uh, as well as some of the hate that was kind of spewing in my own. No telling how many sins I may have committed during that time frame. But... Um, just a long story short, you know, listening to the sermons of Pastor Harris and other ministers, um, you know, over the last several years, I, I really had to dig uh, more into scripture. I had to um, give up on MSNBC, had to give up on CNN and start focusing more on God because I, I got I got to the point I was out there. And so you ask yourself as well, how do you go out and repent uh, your, your, your sins? And I was like, okay, uh, I had to admit I was wrong. I had asked for forgiveness. I prayed for the turn of events for our lives and thoughts to become better. And uh, like I said, it was still hard. I had to change my thought process. And that's what I was just talking about. I had to turn the news off. I had to turn social media off or, or change you know, my tone a little bit. Um, but it, it was still some uh, deep moments. And I had to believe things would change and knowing that nothing lasts forever, only God. So uh, with all of this that was going on and uh, my repenting, uh, Peggy turned to me, I was, I was sharing some of this stuff with her and she says, well, you know, with everything you are saying and shared, uh, my question is, do you love Donald Trump? <laughs> and, uh, that stopped me in my track, okay? And I, and I had to take some deep thought and I say, yes, I will love Donald Trump, okay? And uh, Donald Trump, just like anybody else on this earth, is a child of God. And although we may think differently and act differently from time to time, uh, I knew that um, I, had, I had a straight up Rufus. I couldn't worry about Don. Okay. So, you know, that being said, um, uh, let's go to God. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> Dear Heavenly Father, it, it, it really does matter as far as how you treat someone, even though you may, you know, show other people uh, some love, compassion, um, and, 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 and just the love of God. Um, they may take your actions one way, and, and at the same time, they may not reciprocate as far as actually sharing some of that same love back to you. Um, but you still got to keep your faith in God that God will uh, continue to, you know, straight, keep us on a straight and narrow path as long as we continue to follow his word. So, Father, we, we thank you for your word. We thank you for being with us all these years, uh, continue to look over us and stuff, covering us with your love, your compassion, uh, your grace, your, your mercy. We just thank you so much for this, Father. Um, it's, it's been a long road for some of us and, and, and maybe not for all of us, but you, you're still here. You've been with us the whole time. Uh, we cannot ask for anything more, Father, other than you continue to uh, direct our paths and that uh, we, you continue to do that through the word we, we have from our ministers uh, here at Mount Zion uh, and the word you've given us through all different versions of the Bible and how you continue to touch the people in this world, Father. We're just thankful to have you. Um, we, 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 uh, we just want you to stay with us, Lord. Uh, we can't do this by ourselves. It gets tough sometimes, even with the COVID-19 uh, situation, uh, continue to touch and, and, and touch our family members. Um, and like, we wanna pray for our family members and those who've actually gone through health situations as far as being uh, up in the hospital. Um, my brother, my nephew, 
other folks that I can talk about and other folks that we know about within uh, Mount Zion, Father. We just want you to continue to cover them with your love and, and your healing power, Father. Uh, once again, we just need you so much. Uh, we, we still thank you for uh, allowing us to eat and like uh, take care of our families. Uh, we know that some folks have been suffering to the point that they cannot uh, feed their families, Father. But, you know, we, we pray for them, Father, and we still pray for more compassion for people in this uh, country of ours to share uh, more compassion with these folks to ensure that your people, your children, Father, are still well taken care of. Um, but Lord, um, once again, I lean not to my own understanding, uh, but only to yours. And we will continue to follow you every day of our lives. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Thank you there, Rufus. Thank you for that prayer. Thank you for that uh, testimony. And the floor is open right now if you want to Open up a prayer on your repentance. Uh, it is open right now. Lord, please forgive us for our unrighteousness, Lord, and the hardness of our hearts mm. for turning away from you, Lord, and for thinking highly of ourselves, hmm. thinking that we stand mm -hmm. in judgment of others. But Lord, keep reminding us that none of us are righteous. None of us are worthy. None of us are above anyone else. Amen. Help us to remember that we all need your grace. We all need to be saved. And Lord, we all need to seek after you, Lord. Forgive us, Lord. Forgive us. Forgive this sinful world. And help us to see that we have to continue to look to the cross and continue to go to you for all things because we can't do it on our own. Mm. And help us, <clears throat> help us when we speak of you to remind people that they must go to you, not to us. Help us to remind them that it, this, is, this is your will, not our will. This is your work, not our work. This is your way, not our way. So help us to remain humble, even in the things that we do. Mm. Forgive us, Lord, for the sins that we we know and intentionally step yes. right, and for the sins that we unknowingly continue to commit, the hurts that we cause others, the judgments that we put forth on others. Lord, forgive us. Yes. And Lord, yes. continue to be with us as we seek to do better as we seek to follow after you, Lord, and help us to hold each other accountable as brothers and sisters in Christ. Help us to remember, to see, and look for one another, to support each other. And when we fall, help us to love one another with your love so we can dust each other off, stand each other up, and bring each other back to you, God. And we thank you and we praise you even for giving us away. Yes. Because we don't deserve a way, but you keep, you have given us a way to know you and be with you and to hear from you. Yes. And Lord, we thank you for it all. In mm. Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank Lord, I come also repenting of, as my brother was talking, I saw myself in some of the things he was stating by allowing your mind to get so fixated on things that are happening in the world, things that are happening on the news. And Father God, you let us know in your word that we should fix our mind on you, on things that are pure, on things that are lovely, on things that are right and just. Keep our minds on you and you will keep us in perfect peace. So, Father God, forgive me for being consumed, consumed with those things that I hear on the on the news and then have a thought that is negative. Forgive me, Father God. Help me to always be mindful that you are you are the one we should be focusing on. You are the one that we should always look to. And when we see things that are out of your out of your uh, desire and will that we should get on our knees and pray. Help us, Father God. 
to lift you up in all things. We love you, Father God, and we need you because we can't do this by ourselves. <laughs> Holy Spirit, touch. Yeah. Touch and help us to focus on Jesus and the price he paid for each and every one of us. We thank you. We praise you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Father God, we come to you as humble as we know how. Um, we want to just say thank you. Thank you for sending your son Jesus to die on the cross for us, Lord, knowing that we would not be able to keep your perfect laws all the time. Thank you for your son Jesus, Father God. We give you all the praise. We give you all the honor, Lord. We know in our sinful natures, we fall daily. We miss the mark so many times, but yes, you being such a loving God, you are always there to pick us up like a loving father. And we thank you for that, Jesus. We thank you for all that you do, Father God. Thank you for your son. Thank you for our church family. Keep us together, Lord, even at this time as we are apart. Um, let us keep strengthening each, strengthening each other in our times of needs, Lord. We thank you for all that you do and will continue to do for us. We love you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Dear Heavenly Father, yes, we do thank you, Lord, for the ability to come to you to ask for forgiveness, for we do know we have all have a sinful nature and we will fall down each and every day of our lives. We will do it knowingly and we will do it unknowingly, Lord. But we have the ability, Father God, to know who to come to to ask for forgiveness. And for that, that is such a blessing, Father God, that you, by your grace and your mercy, have allowed us to come to you to ask for forgiveness, Father God, where we know we have not been just not in line with what you would have us to do, Father God. We thank you for the ability to come and ask for forgiveness, Father God. We come and ask for a changed heart, Father God, to change our minds, but truly change our hearts, Father God, where we fall down and we continue to fall down. We know that we will. We want to be more Christ-like in all of our actions, Father God. We want to be able to be a guide, to be an example for others, Father God, to come to you, Father God. So we ask right now that you will forgive us, Father God, where we have we have done wrong, where we have not been, been with you, Lord. We just ask for that forgiveness right now. We, we love you today, Lord. We give you all honor, Father God. We thank you. And this is our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Okay, we're going to now move to our next part of the acronym is for A for ask. Where we're asking God for not only ourselves, things that we need, but things that we want to ask for other people, where we want to intercede, be intercessors for others across the board. And we're going to be led by our sister Tina on this one, and she'll be Utilizing the scriptures, Psalms 18, 1 through 6, and 30 through 35. Good evening, everyone. Psalms 18, 1 through 6. I love you, O Lord, my strength, the Lord, my rock, and my fortress, and my deliverer, my God, my rock, and whom I take refuge, my shield, and the horn of my salvation my stronghold. I call upon the Lord who is worthy to be praised and I am saved from my enemies. The cords of death encompass me. The torrents of destruction assail me. The cords of Sheol entangle me. The snares of death confronted me. In my distress, I called upon the Lord. To my God, I cried for help. From his temple, he heard my voice and my cry to him reached his ears. This God, his way is perfect. The word of the Lord proves true. He is a shield for all those who take refuge in him. For who is God but the Lord? And who is a rock except our God? The God who equipped me 
with strength and made my way blameless. He made my feet like the feet of a deer and set me uh, secure on the heights. He trains my hands for war so that my arms can bear a bow of, of bronze. You have given me the shield of your salvation and your right hand supported me and your gentleness made me great. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Heavenly Father, we come to you right now asking you, O oh God, to hear our cry, O oh God. Our cry for help, our cry for direction, our cry for healing. We ask you, O oh God, to search our hearts, O oh God, for the things that are not like you. Reveal to us and show us how to do better. Lord, give us opportunities to make amends with others. Give us opportunities to share your word. And I ask you, O oh God, in the midst of asking for these things, I ask you, O oh God, to give us the strength to withstand the enemy that may come when we're in the midst of trying to do your will. I thank you, O oh God, for this opportunity just to pray and to ask things from you, O oh God. I ask you, O oh God, that our prayers be heard. I ask you, O oh God, for the people that don't know you, show us how to reach them. Speak to their hearts, O oh God. I ask you, O oh God, to let us continue to see you anew. I ask you, O oh God, to heal this land with all the chaos and the destruction. I ask you, O oh God, to please hear our humble cry as we come to you on this day with a petition for you to hear us, to deliver us. Lord, we honor you on this day. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you, Thank you Lord. Thank you, Tina and Kyle. The floor is open now. If you have something that uh, you would like to ask God for during this focus period of asking, go right ahead with your prayer. Thank you, Jesus. Father, I come to you and thankful that we can uh, come and, and ask of you, come boldly to your throne of grace um, to receive help in our time of need. And so, but Lord, I want to intercede and just pray for those who may be going through uh, just difficult times um, due to either illness, or mental health issues, or whatever they're facing in the midst of this pandemic. And they just feel like death is all around them. Uh, the cords of death is entangling them and and they just seem to be sinking to the depths of the grave. And so, God, I pray that you would uplift them and and uh, and uh, bring light um, and that you would bring them up out of that despair or those despairing thoughts that they may be facing, God. Uh, give them hope, re renew their hope, and uh, and send individuals their way that will encourage them and that will minister to them. Um, in the midst of, of maybe some dark times that they're facing, God, and use us, God, as your instruments, yes. uh, as your ambassadors and ministers, uh, just to be with individuals and help and to support them and strengthen them, God. And we don't have to have all the answers. We don't have to have the pat word of what to say, but God, if, even if it's just our presence um, to be there and to support God, use us, Lord, we pray. And so, God, I just want to intercede for those who may be facing really tough times um, in the midst of this pandemic right now. And I pray all of this in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. God, for those who do not know you, Lord, we ask that you uh, reveal yourself and, sh and, and make your presence known in a way that they, they can't make an excuse for. Uh, mm. Lord, we ask that you continue to give us opportunities to share your gospel and give us boldness and confidence in you to be able to do as you would have us to do without fear, without shame, without worry. Lord, help us to stand firm on your word. Help us to not water it down, 
to not make excuses, to not justify other things, Lord, but help us to stand with boldness on what you would have us to. Yes. And help us to seek your face in all things, Lord. Help us to, to not rely on ourselves, but to put all things in your hands, put our, our whole life into subjection under your will and desire for us, Lord. Lord, we ask that you, you, you do something, you do something for those who are struggling, Lord, and help us as the people of faith, the followers of your, your will and your word, Father God, help us to know what you want us to do to help others, to be present with others, to fellowship with one another, to support one another in all of these times, Lord, and help us as the body of Christ to not be that sleeping giant, Lord, but to, but to move with confidence and boldness according to your will, your way, your work, and your word, Lord. Mm. Thank you, God. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, we do thank you again. I come to you just asking that you would touch all on this call this evening, touch all in our church family, Father God, all our brothers and sisters, Father God, no matter what their needs may be, Father God, we would ask that you would touch those situations Allow them to know that you're there with them, no matter what they're going through. Allow them to be secure that you will always be with them, Father God. And your will will be done. Give us the patience, Father God, to allow your will to come forth. And we know that it's come forth. Allow us truly to understand and have discernment, Father God, from the Holy Spirit, what direction to go in, what to do, how to react, how to be with you, Father God, in good stead with you, Lord. I pray for unity amongst our, our family. I pray, Father God, as we cannot be together as we normally would have been over the past year, that we continue to pray for one another, we continue to love one another, we continue to reach out to one another and be there no matter what the circumstances are for one another. Truly pray, Father God, for those who are in need or whatever they may be, would reach out to you, Father God, first and foremost, Father God, but their church family, their brothers and their sisters who love them. Let us love one another. Let us be unified, Father God, to do your will to achieve the mission that you have put before us. Thank you, Lord. Thank you again, Father God, just for this opportunity to be able to speak to you, to talk to you, to come to our Father, plainly and simple. With no hyperbole, no, nothing, Father, just come to you as simple as we can, asking the needs, knowing that when we're in line with your word, that's what we truly want to do, what we truly need to do. So we thank you again, Father God. We thank you. And this is our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, we're going to go to our last focus area now, which will be yield. That big, that big red sign. Hold up. <laughs> ah, knowing that you will be able to yield to what God really wants us to have and do. And Sister Phoebe will be taking us, leading us in prayer in this section. 
She will be coming with a scripture from Proverbs 3, 5, and 6, and, and Ephesians 3, 20. Amen. So Proverbs 3, 5, and 6, trust in the Lord with all your heart and do not lean to your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he will make straight your paths. Ephesians 3, 20, now to, who, now to him who is able to do far more abundantly than all that we ask or think according to the power at work within us. Let us pray. Father, not our will, but let your will be done. Mm -hmm. Let your will be done in us, with us, through us. And we recognize, Lord, that you have something bigger than us that you are doing. Because, Lord, we trust you. We trust your way. We trust the things that you're doing in our lives. We trust you, Lord, for who you are. Mm -hmm. And that's why we can praise you lord we 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 trust you and we know when it's time to repent lord and we can ask and intercede because you see mm -hmm. some things that are greater than what we can see your picture and your story is so much greater than ours and for that lord we submit ourselves to you we submit ourselves to your your power we submit ourselves to your glory and lord as long as your power is at work within us, we know that the things that we are doing is going to be bigger than what we can even imagine for the your glory and Lord. And that's why we're able to yield, yield to you and the things that you were, even when we don't understand father, because sometimes we don't understand what it looks yes. like today. Lord, give us the strength to yield. You're calling us to go do some things, Lord, give us the strength to yield. Mm. You are sending us out. Give us the strength to yield because it's not our will, Father, but it's your will that we pray is done. Lord, we thank you for everything that you've done up to this point. We trust you in where we're going because, Lord, you walk with us. You walk ahead of us. You protect us because, Lord, you cannot fail and you will shepherd us that you will not lead us into failure. And for Lord that we trust you and we obey and we submit mm -hmm. to you. And even in moments when it's hard to obey, when it's hard to submit, Lord, mm -hmm. continue to be there with us and remind us mm -hmm. that you are in control. Yes. Remind us even when the world is doing things that we don't understand, Lord, that you are in control. Yes. Even when it looks like chaos is happening all around us, Lord, that you are in control. Yes, you are. And so, Lord, we love you. We praise you. We adore you. Yes. And we yield. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you, my sister. Focus is on yielding to God and what he has for you. The floor is open. If anyone wants to pray, uh, it is open. Thank you. Jesus. You know. Father, do um, thankful for just a reminder of the scriptures that were read uh, that we can yield to you uh, because uh, of your wisdom that you grant, um, that we should not trust in our own selves, lean upon our own understanding, God, but we yield to your wisdom and uh, in all things, God, and especially, Lord, I, I do pray, Lord, that even for myself and even for us as, as the elders, as we yield um, to you <clears throat> in terms of even us trying to plan and think about um, church and, and this year and and uh, confess that sometimes it's frustrating, God, forgive us, um, you know, because we uh, can't plan as we might normally do so. But God, we yield to you, God. You you know what is best. You know, even in the midst of a pandemic, uh, what is best for us. So uh, make our path straight, God, we pray yeah. uh, and that we trust you uh, and we yield uh, ourselves to you, that you can still accomplish uh, your purposes through us, uh, even when it feels like we may be restricted. So God... We just yield to your your infinite wisdom. Um, so help us not to lean on our finite wisdom, God, yes. um, so that we can uh, do all that you have called us to do. I just thank you for your wisdom.
Thank and you, I Lord. pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hebrews 12 and 11. For the moment, all discipline seems painful rather than pleasant, but later it yields the peaceful fruit of righteousness to those who have been trained by it. Mm. Heavenly Father, I ask you, O oh God, to show us how to yield to you, O oh God, how to lay everything at your feet mm. and to stand on your word, O oh God. Mm. Ask you, O oh God, to take anything that is within us that is not like you, that would cause us to go astray. Take it away, oh God. I ask you, oh God, to just be with us as we surrender our will to you. Give us peace that surpasses understanding and let us lean on your word for the strength that we need to withstand the enemy. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Let's give it to you, Lord. To you, Lord. Thank you. Let's give it to you, Lord. Lord, do you love your will? Dear Heavenly Father, yes. Dear Heavenly Father, yes, we do want to yield to you, Father God. You have put, and you know there is a call on our lives, each and every one of us, Father God, because we belong to you. We want to yield to that. We just want to be open to it, Father God. I pray right now, Father God, that we have open minds, open hearts. We are in tune to your word. We are in tune to the Holy Spirit. We will listen to the Holy Spirit and be guided, Father God, what you would want us to do, Father God. Specifically, each individual, Father God, will yield to your will, Father God, and not the proponents of us looking at the world, trying having other desires that the world may put into our heads that we think we might need, we may want, we may desire, Father God. We would ask that we tear down that man each and every day of our lives, come anew each and every day, Father God, looking to you, what you have done for us, what you are doing for us, and what we can be of service to you, Father God. Touch each your heart, each mind right now, Father God, all on this phone call, on this virtual prayer rally, Father God, all who may not be here, Father God, that is a part of our church body, Father God, I would ask you to touch each and every one of us, Father God, again, to yield to your, your guidance, Father God, your will, Father God. Let us just be truly better servants unto you, better brothers and sisters, brother children unto you, Father God, following your word, knowing what you want on us to do, touching us, Father God, touching us to want to know your word, touching us to want to know to go into our closets, Father God, especially during this time right now where we are repenting and we're going through this period of Lent. where we are fasting from things, Father God, trying to be closer to you, believing in you, confessing to you, Father God. We do it again, Father God. I pray, Father God, for all of us to love you. I praise you to just give you all of it, Father God. Yield to your will. Allow us to be patient on that, Father God. Just be with us. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. This is my prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen.
Amen. Thank you, Lord. As we go to our closing prayer, we're going to ask if there are any specific prayer requests that we can, uh, that you may have that we can pray for this evening. Uh, this is Rufus. Uh, still ask uh, folks, uh, everyone to pray for Peggy. Um, this morning, she took another call. <laughs> I keep trying to tell her you've got four grandchildren sitting at the house taking care of you, and you can call either one of them to actually wait on you. But she uh, <laughs> took it upon herself to get up and uh, try to make some movement on her own, and that uh, that was not wise. Uh, she's okay. She called the doctor to get checked out, um, but we just want her to be obedient, okay? Uh, and want her to stay around a little bit longer. <laughs> Amen. So uh, I'll be back home tomorrow and I'll be on top of them. <laughs> <laughs> Any other? Just continue <laughs> to uh, lift my father up in prayer. Uh, he's decided not to have uh, go ahead with the surgery. He just he believes that he he's at an age now where he's already had has a lot of complications or health problems, and for them to go in or open them up or whatever could be com compounding uh, what he's already dealing with. So he's decided not to do it, and so uh, with his heart. So just keep him lifted up in prayer. But I know one thing: his heart, his mind is made up. And he's not worried about it, and neither neither am I. I just trust God that whatever his will is, it will be done. Mm -hmm. Amen. So I um I'll also put a prayer request in on behalf of a friend of mine. Her name is Wendy Farmer. Her her mom, Carol Ford, um, was just diagnosed with pancreatic cancer. And uh, um, was given a, a duration of time to live. So um, it's a lot from an emotional perspective. And then Wendy has taken on caretaker role of her mom and her dad while she's relocating to a new state. There's a whole lot of stuff that's going on. So my, my prayer is just for that family and then just continual comfort and emotional strength for, for Wendy during this this time um, that God would just protect her, protect the family, and, and continue to cover and reveal his will and his purpose through all of this to them. Phoebe, did you say that there was her mother, Wendy's mother, diagnosed? Wendy's mother, yes. Mm -hmm. Wendy's mother, her name is, I just want to make sure, Carol, I said it wrong, Carol Daniel, not Ford. Carol Daniel is her mother's name. And good evening, everyone. This is Tayon. Um, if you would just add Jamari to the list of prayers, he's just in the middle of making decisions about college and which university he's going to select and choose. So just praying for wisdom as he makes that decision. We are we are trying to yield as parents to God <laughs> to work out those decisions without us defining for him where where he goes and so just leaning on god for that so just asking for wisdom as he makes those decisions amen understand that hey hey Teon, uh you put your prayer request in there that god will god will make them they'll end up deciding what you where you want them to go listen i know that's right <laughs> I'm <surprised> that one. <laughs> somebody not going to new york <laughs> <laughs> Oh, okay. Okay. We're going to do, uh, go into our closing prayer. And that scripture comes from Psalms 106, 44 through 48. Thank you, Lord. Nevertheless, we look upon their distress. When he had heard their cry, for the sake he remembered his covenant and relented according to the abundance of his steadfast love. 
He caused them to be to be pitied, pitied by all those who held them captive. Save us, O Lord, our God, and gather us from among the nations that we may give thanks to your holy name and glory in your praise. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, from everlasting to everlasting, and let all the people say amen. amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Father. We do praise you. You are our God. We thank you, Lord. We thank you just for the opportunity again, just to come this evening, Father God, to, as a group of your believers, loving one another and loving you, Lord, recognizing who ahead of our lives is. So we thank you, Lord. We ask right now, Father God, that you would touch our sister Peggy. Continue to be with her, Father God. Continue to be her at, through her, rec uh, her recuperation, Father God. We know that there's times where we all want to be hard-headed and not ask for the help we need, Lord. We would ask that she would be with her, Lord. Father God, we pray that uh, there's no more falls, Father God, that again, that she can just go through this uh, this rehab, Father God, and come back uh, stronger than ever, Father God, serving you, loving you, because she is a, she does know you, Lord. We know that she is your daughter, Father God. So touch your body in the mighty name of Jesus, Father God, be with her. We'll be looking for that day, Father God, where again, she will have all, she'll have every bit of uh, use of all of her limbs and everything, Father God. So just touch her in the mighty name of Jesus, Father God. We'd like to pray for uh, Cynthia's father, Father God. He, he uh, pray that he is at peace, Father God. He uh, not willing right now to go through the surgery, Father God, that they're recommending, Father God, but we know that you have him in your, your hands, Father God. So touch his body, touch his mind, touch everything about him, Lord. Touch the family, touch all everybody in the family, Father God, just to trust in you, Father God. We pray, Father God, that he will continue in good health but because, the, Father God, that you were there with him, Father God. Give him true peace. Knowing again that he's a part of you, that he is your son. Thank you, Lord, for him right now in his life. We pray, Father God, that he continues to just watch and be a service to you and a service to others, Father God. Calling our praises to you. Touch him in the mighty name of Jesus. We ask you to touch Miss Wendy Farmer, Father God. Touch her mother in the mighty name of Jesus, Father God. She's just been diagnosed with pancreatic cancer, Father God. I think her name is Carol Daniels, Lord. We ask you to touch her in the mighty name of Jesus, Father God. Be with her, Lord. Touch those who are here on this earth, Father God, who may be her, her health providers, Father God. We pray, Father God, that they know you and they will be guided by you, Father God. Touch her right now, Lord. Touch Wendy right now, Lord. Give her the understanding, Father God, that you're there for her. That she is a help giver to her mother, Father God, that she will be being able to stand in the gap for her mother, Father God, to be there for her, Father God, whatever she may need, Lord. Emotionally, physically, or whatever it may be, Lord, touch her in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord. Touch her body, Lord. Be with this family, Lord. Guide them through this period of time, Father God, because we know that these things do take a toll on us, Father God, especially not knowing things of this nature will happen. But we're only here on this earth, Father God, for a short period of time, Father God. And our true place is with you. Let them truly understand where we where we belong and we are part of your family, Lord. So touch her in the mighty name of Jesus. We also ask you to touch Jamari, Father God, as this young man is going to leave home, Father God, to go to school, to get his education, Father God, we pray that your will will be done, Father God, that he will look to you, Father God, and he would not be guided, misguided by the world, Father God, by anything other than you, Lord. Let him take directions from his parents, Father God, the guidance, but truly be understanding where you would have him do and want him to do with his life so that, again, Father God, he looks to you. He looks to you, Father God, for all of his guidance, Lord. Trust in his parents and mind of the Father. Use wisdom, Father God. Not be swayed by 
the devil, other things of this world, Lord. Touch him in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Father, I thank you, Father, again for uh, this opportunity to come to you and pray with you tonight, to talk to you, Father God, as a, as a group of believers, Father God, knowing that you are there for us. And by your grace and your mercy, Father God, we have this ability. By your son's sacrifice for each and every one of us, Father God, his shared sacrifice, his blood gives us the ability to trust in him, to trust in him with all of our hearts and be, be a part of this family of yours. Oh God, we thank you, Lord. It is such a privilege to be able to talk to you, to, to call you our father. And we just, again, thank you for this opportunity. We love you tonight. We praise you, Lord. Let us move from this to protect all of our families, protect all the families of Mount Zion, Father God. Pray, Father God, that we continue to grow in this prayer rally, Father God, that we would come and intercede for one another, Lord. We would just be there for one another at all times. Oh, God, we thank you, Lord, because you truly give us good, uh, the joy, true joy, you give it to us. So we thank you and we praise you. And this I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Amen.